severe MMA wear at FCC 15. We're alongside Amy Lawrence James, but and Amy, who stand up, certainly doesn't look amateur. May talk us through the end of that fight, please. To tell you the truth, I can't even remember the end of the fight. I can't remember the fight, but my stand up comes from Anthony Musa, Brendan Lofnay, and obviously he couldn't be here, uh, which I'm pretty gutted, but he will be fighting tonight and he'll win. So that's where they've worked down the gym, we're just concentrating on flow and movement and. Um, and that's, that's, that's where it comes from, really. In the first couple of opening exchanges, it seemed, it seemed that you landed the cleanest and the hardest. After the first, after the first 30 seconds or so, did you know you had too much? Could, could you feel that you were too much for him standing? I knew I had him before we started. There's no one that can, that can step to me. That's it. I knew I had him. In my mind, I can't be beaten. So as soon as I did let go on him, I knew it was that time anyway. And you pulled the trigger with that flying knee. I mean, that came out of nowhere. You just saw the opportunity and react, or were you setting them up for that? All I could hear from my corner was, have fun, have fun, have fun. And I thought, well, let me have fun then. And then the fun came out. So I've got to tell you, if that's you having fun, I can't wait to see you have fun again in the cage. That was a phenomenal. Thank I don't think much. TKO is fair. I think you. I think now it's a clean KO off the knee. Yeah. Just so you know. Thank you. Well I just Can I just say, um, big shout out to Lerone, who's fighting tonight. Uh, Brendan Lofnay, who's fighting tonight. Anthony Musa, all the lads down the gym that have helped me train. Thank you very much. Oh, Lawrence, James, a pleasure. Can't wait to see you fighting.